What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another Guilty Gear Strive video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new Guilty Gear Strive high level gameplay provided to you by GameSpot. Shout out to GameSpot for writing this content and this uh, footage. Go ahead and definitely subscribe to them guys and like this video. Show them support because this is really intense stuff. Really like newsworthy stuff because a lot of stuff to cover here. So basically we're going to go over that. I'm not going to show the entire uh, gameplay of everything. Just uh, you guys can go ahead and check it out yourselves and support GameSpot. I'm going to go ahead and just go to the main things that I saw that I really wanted to touch up on. Um, so <clears throat> going through the video, the first thing I noticed was this thing by Axel right there when he says yes. I don't know what that is because I think he blocked it. Yeah, he blocked it and he still says yes. I mean, that's just something small. It could be just like added, you know, effect, whatever. But that was just something small I noticed. But the main thing that we got to talk about for sure is his new ability, One Vision. I don't know how that's going to affect the, the meta or whatever because this thing looks hella busted. It's not even, you don't even really use, I thought it was a Roman cancel at first or something, but no, it's just, it's just a basic uh, move. They just stop in time and you can go up to them and do whatever the hell you want. If they have no burst, you're basically screwed. Uh, that, that's what I'm seeing. I don't know if there's any way to counter it or what. Um, but let's go ahead and fast forward to that. <clears throat> also, I do want to notice, uh, we want to take a look and see that the HUD, um, everything just seems a little bit more zoomed out, which is good. I don't know before I'll, I'll post like a comparison i don't know let me know what you guys think i think the the ui and just the gameplay itself looks a little bit more um zoomed out in this new version and uh, the games before and the beta before it looked a little bit more zoomed in i don't know um <clears throat> about uh any of that but that's just what i what i'm noticing but anyway let's go ahead and fast forward to his new ability right here it's called one vision so the input is six three two one four six so let me try to translate that because even i don't know how to translate that so six three two one four six so basically it's quarter circle back forward it's like um yeah quarter circle back forward <clears throat> um i'm trying to think so it's like souls maybe no it's like chips it's like chips uh zanze rogan i think so that's the only thing i could compare it to so it's about quarter circle back forward and it's one vision so let's go ahead and take a look at that uh, I don't know if I could slow this down. I would love to slow this down. Let me see. Uh, playback speed. Let's go ahead and do... Um, which one's slow? I think it's this one. So right here, one vision. He activates it. And then he gets his purple aura around him. So he's just moving around. I don't know. I think there might be a timer to it. Or maybe he has to activate it again in order for it to go. And he's just holding it. Like a charge ability. Uh, think like Samus Neutral B in Smash Bros. Where you charge it and you hold it. Maybe he's holding it and then he does the input again to release it. Or maybe it's a it's a countdown. It shows, uh, not not shows, but it, it's supposed to go like, okay, from five, four, three, two, one, and then it activates the ability. If that's the case, um, it would help to have like a counter next to the opponent or him just to show that. If not, people could memorize the count and how, how long it, it goes. But basically, so he slows down and then I think after a couple seconds, he activates it. So let's see here. I'm trying to slow it down. I think it's after he does this and then he activates or maybe when you get a hit he activates it and then he obviously dude he does the jojo pose that is such a freaking jojo pose for sure look at that like i'll see if i can find a picture and put it up next to him because that's that's a jojo pose for sure maybe this will be the thumbnail who knows but yeah so he slows down time basically he stops time and then he just combos a shit of him yeah and the in, in the in the lord axel has learned to control his ability a little bit better um but i don't think fully and then you can for sure get a combo off that. I think you'd only hit him once though. Let me see. So he jumps up, he connects a hit, and then he slows down time. Boom, right there. Literally like a freaking sick ass Roman cancel. So he goes up, he punches him once, and then he punches him again. And then you can punch him again. So it, I don't think it's a matter of how many hits you can get. I think it's just a matter of how much time you have to, before he moves. So he does that twice in the video. <clears throat> Let's see if we can find the next time he does it because I definitely want to see how that's activated. So right here, he activates it. It is slowed down. So let me see, maybe when he lands a hit. That's what I'm assuming when he gets it. Or no. Yeah. Oh wait. Yeah, when he lands a hit, I think. I think it was when he lands a hit, it'll activate. And if he doesn't land a hit within a certain amount of time, it won't work, which is pretty balanced. That, that is actually pretty balanced. Oh my God, imagine if you can do that in a fucking combo, dude. Holy shit. That would be super busted. That'd be super busted. And then another another axle bomber off this. 
Another Axel Bomber off this? Another Axel. He did three Axel Bombers in this combo, dude. So he started from here. So he started from here. He went up. Did he hit him up or did he do Axel Bomber? He did Axel Bomber. Let me, let me fast forward this a little bit. He did Axel Bomber again. And then Axel Bomber. Three Axel freaking Bombers, dude. That's crazy. That's insane. All right. So that's basically Chip's gameplay. But next, we got to talk about Kai. So we're going to fast forward to Kai. And he he has red lightning. What does this mean? Does this mean we're going to have two variations of Kai? One where he has his install, another one where he doesn't? I don't think so. This might be a special color that comes with the 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 game when you pre-order it or the ultimate edition or whatever and you get those special colors <clears throat> um with Carrick with with Kai and Soul and you get to reverse the the lightning color and the blue uh, the blue fire for Soul and the red lightning for Kai. The only thing I couldn't think of though is wouldn't his color scheme in general be different? Maybe you can just alternate them. That's the only thing I'm thinking of right now. Um cuz I don't think they would waste like two car like unless it's like another version of Robo Kai, which I doubt it. Like, two Kais in one game. Unless it's Robokai, I don't see it happening. This is probably just the way um, the color scheme is for um, the special colors you get when you pre the game. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. But we're going to go fast forward. You guys can go check out the rest of this um, gameplay at GameSpot. Red Lightning attack. And then the install. He grabs his freaking eye like Scene does when he does his uh, insta-kill. Still no insta kills by the way. We still haven't found one yet. But look at that. Oh my god. He looks. I thought when I first saw the thumbnail on. I saw. I was looking at Reddit, and I saw this, and I was like, dude, is this fucking Robo Kai? What the hell is this shit? But he only goes halfway. He doesn't go full way, and his arm is like, like a, it's blue. It's like a like Soul's arm. Um, so his is blue. Soul's is red, which would make sense. That's crazy, man. Like, and he looks like he has like a Susano arm or something. Like that red, that blue lightning looks kind of like. Like it's a part of him. It's not like an aura. It looks like it's actually like a part of him. So that's pretty cool. I don't know what special moves he has with this. Uh, we just saw the install in general. We're going to have to take a look at that. Maybe it'll be in the beta. Uh, let me know what you guys think if it'll be in the beta or not. But that's pretty interesting to take a look at. Also, let me know what you guys think if they'll do English voices for the beta. Um, I don't know. Maybe they, they won't. I don't think they finished for uh, Angie Mito. Maybe they have. You know, who knows? Um... Maybe the only way this they got this gameplay was because GameSpot already has the full game uh, two months ahead. So that's, uh, yeah, two months ahead? Yeah, two months ahead. So that's pretty crazy. Um, does he do the install? Does he do this with his install on? Let me see. I want to see. I think he does it with the install. He does. But then his in Oh, no, he has his install eye, too. That's sick. This is going to do a lot of damage right here. It's going to kill him for sure. Oh, it doesn't. Wow. What's... I wonder what the point of his install is. Does it make him stronger? Maybe it gives him new moves. Maybe it make him faster. Who knows? Uh, but we'll take a look at the next thing right here. This is the last thing we'll cover before we um, end the video. This is just Soul's new ability, which we, we've seen before. But I guess we've always thought it was um, part of the story mode, which it looked like it was part of the story mode. But I guess it's not. It's actually a move. So he does Bandit Revolver into... Oh my gosh, sorry, I just woke up. <clears throat> Into Roman Cancel. The red one. Heavy Mob Cemetery. 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 No, Cemetery. Sorry, guys. Heavy Mob Cemetery. So it's 214, 214. So let me see. 214, 214. So it's quarter circle back, quarter circle back, and then heavy, heavy slash. Okay. So he basically goes up and. He, Turns into his install mode. He has no freaking... I don't think he's ever had these... Like, look at that, dude. He has big-ass wings like freaking Dante from Devil May Cry when he goes into a Sin Devil Trigger. And so he gets him, brings him up, and then trushes him down and kills him. Now, my question is, when he does this, does he stay? Does he stay in his install mode? Because if he does, that would be really good. Maybe he stays in his install mode. But the only reason they he got out of it this time was because the match ended. But then again, I don't think the, he ever left his install mode when he won a match. So maybe it's not. Maybe you don't. Um, maybe maybe it's not like a, you know, it's not like an install. Yeah, maybe it's not like an actual install. Maybe it's just like a, 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 a super move. Who knows? But that's basically all the things I wanted to cover today, guys. Uh, please go ahead and check out GameSpot for sure. 
Um, they do pretty good stuff. I just subscribed to them myself. I didn't know until I saw on Reddit and I liked the video. So go ahead and show them support, guys. Um, thank you so much to GameStop and thank you guys for watching. Uh, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel as well. I do a lot of Guilty Gear content. Um, as you guys can see, I do a lot of Guilty Gear stuff here. New videos almost every day. I'm trying to get that up as much as possible. But yeah, like I said, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!